Hi, this is Trey Passer. Um, it's been an interesting week. Hold on for a minute. I gotta turn the volume down on this. Um, like I said, I mentioned a few weeks ago, I was gonna get a 3D TV, smart TV, and a 3D Blu-ray player, and I did get that. But it's been an interesting journey <laughs> to get that. To be honest, um, I had first, you know, looked around. And then I decided to order one TV, which I I actually did order a TV before, a long time ago from Shop NBC, one of the ones that have the light bulbs in it. Uh, I forgot what they call those TVs. You know, one of the big ones that you have to change the light bulb once a year. I had that one before. I had that for like, I think, two years or whatever it was. And then I had the TV I had before, you know, the TV I had prior to this, uh, LCD t Samsung TV, a 55-inch one. Uh, great high definition, and now you know I wanted to get a 3D smart TV. You know, take advantage of all the features and stuff, and occasionally maybe watch a 3D movie. Like and to be honest, when I first got a um, heard about 3D long a couple of years ago, I didn't wasn't that interested in it. But now, you know, kind of want the 3D. I wanted the 3D TV just to have the experience of watching. Though, although I don't think I'm gonna be watching too much 3D TV. Just, just I guess just. You know, to have it just to watch occasionally watch a movie here and there in uh in 3D just to see. But um anyway, like I said, I ordered the TV, it came, it came to hook it up last Monday, but the TV was cracked. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was cracked, so when they took it out of the box and they set it up, it had a nice crack in it. And so I was gonna get an LG 3D smart TV, but it, like I said, it had the crack in it, so we had to send it back. I called them. They sent to some guy to pick it up on Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, Wednesday they picked it up. And then I assumed they were going to um, send another one back, so I, I called Thursday, and they said that they would. They, they had to fill out the order, and then probably sometime around Friday they would put the order through and contact the vendor to send out another one. So I called back Friday to check on the, to see where they were with it, and then they... The guy told me who I spoke to, he said, no, you have to ask me physically. You know, I looked on the website, and they did refund my money and cancel the order. So he said, no, you have to just go on the line again and order another, you know, order the TV again. So that's, I said to myself on Friday, I said, you know what, just do this. I'll just go to the store and buy it. And that way I can just take it home, you know, instead of waiting, you know, ordering again online and waiting another couple of days for it to get ordered and, and to get delivered, then another couple of days maybe to get it. I uh, have the Gate Squad come and set it up because my TV is on a stand that I bought when I bought my other TV. So they would have to take it down, unscrew it and stuff, and then set it up. So um, I said, you know what, let me go. So Friday, I went with my stepfather to PC Richards. Didn't have much of anything there. Then I went to Sears just to see, and Sears had even less. So then I went back to Best Buy. And again, at first, I was going to get an LG TV, you know, because I had an LG soundboard and an LG uh, Blu ray player, 3D Blu ray player. That I'd ordered online, those came and were good. But as I kept looking around and looking around, I kept looking at, at back at the Samsung Smart 3D TV, and the Samsung was just the picture quality to me was just so much better on the Samsung TV. So um, I thought about it for a while. I was going to I was going to get the LG, but I said, you know, let me get the LG just to be to have symmetry, I guess, with the sound bar and the Blu-ray player. And then they went, the guy went to look for it, and of course they didn't have it. So I said, okay, well, let me get the Samsung 55-inch uh, one. Okay, they didn't have that one. And then, of course, I looked at the 60-inch one, and the 60-inch one was on sale, and it was there, so I got it. <laughs> so that's what I have right now. And I'm going to show you, after this video, a little bit of the footage that I shot. I shot some footage with my iPhone, so I don't know. It might not be the best footage. Of when they when the TV uh, when we bought the new TV, I don't think I I may have shot footage of the of the of the TV that was here, the LG TV that was here, before, you know, the one that was cracked. I think I may have shot some footage of it, so you may see that in the video. That's gonna come up after this little preamble, and then I uh, I'll just show you um, the TV and and the setup. Like I said, I have two pairs of 3D glasses and, and uh, the soundbar. I still got the LG soundbar because that works and. 
And the guys did a good job when they came yesterday. I mean, people got a geek squad, uh, guys, and they did a good job. And they rewired the stuff in the back and stuff and straightened things out. And so they did a good job. So that's, uh, so that's that. And then I'll show you the footage. I'm going to edit the footage in after this. And then I'll show you a little bit briefly of the TV. And I really can't, I don't want to show any, any TV show. <laughs> so um, I'll kind of, I'll put it on a kind of a neutral station. Because I don't want to get in trouble for any copyright things. So there you go. And again, let me know what you think of the TV. It's like I said, 60 inch. I was, I'm happy with the size of the course. And although, like I said, the 3D, I watched, I didn't watch, I haven't watched a full movie. I just like my brothers came over and stuff, and my sister yesterday. I was showing them my stepfather, of course, who lives with me. You know, we, sh we was watching some 3D uh, clips from. Uh, various movies just to see the 3D and the 3D looks fantastic and you also have the ability to make uh, regular TV 3D and I look you know the little apps on the smart TV to YouTube and stuff and and they have an offer for that I think I'm gonna get Netflix and probably Hulu Plus so, so I can watch some TV shows and stuff and so but anyway I mean enough of Ryan Ramlin there's the footage and now I'll come back hey today's Monday March 10th uh, they're going to hook my TV up today. They're coming today. And let me uh, show you my setup now, what it looks like now. And it's going to change, of course, once they hook the 3D and my sound bar and 3D Blu-ray player up. But sorry, I stopped it for some stupid reason. Anyway, let's uh, show you uh, what it looks like. Let me see if I can reverse this. Hold on. Hey, I'm this uh, Trey Passer here. Um, my new TV I bought yesterday. A little backstory. Um, I had ordered a TV. It was going to get put up next last Monday, but it had a crack in it, so I had to have it picked up. And then I, you know, they picked it up, and then I tried to see if I could order another one from them, and they said, well, you know, you have to place another order online to get the TV. Then said, and I thought to myself, why not just go to the store and do it? and pick it up so that way and then I can have Best Buy come and do it so what I did was what I did was um, I went with my stepfather yesterday looked around went to PC Richards went to Sears which didn't have much of anything PC Richards had a few TVs but not as much then I went to Best Buy and like I said um, I have an LG uh, soundboard and an LG 3D Blu-ray player I was going to buy um, an LG TV you know for Cemetery but the Samsung TV that I bought, which I'm going to show you in a minute, it just had a better picture, and this one is 240 hertz, it's 3D, smart TV, and like I said, it's a 60 inch, I was only going to get a 55, but like my stepfather told me, if you're going to buy a TV, you might as well get the best, and Samsung to me just has the best picture, so let me, I'm going to show you now, because they're about to come any minute to Best Buy a Geek Squad to hook it up, and then I, the TV that I have now, which is this one. I'm going to sell that one. I already got a buyer. She came to look at it last Sunday. So once they finish hooking my TV up and I know it's good, <laughs> I'm going to text her back and tell her she can come tomorrow and pick it up. Which kind of, like I was going to go to the movies today because <laughs> I thought maybe when I bought the TV that Best Buy wouldn't come for a couple of days, but they actually, when I called last night after I got back, and that was an adventure too, getting back from this from the store last night to, to my house because you know we were in like to, like New York they have dollar vans that take you to stop at bus stops to take you up, but last night there was none, and it couldn't the, the six inch TV couldn't fit in the Blu-ray couldn't fit in the um, taxi cab, so we had to walk up the hill a ways to catch the bus that thankfully stops by my house. So <laughs> that was a, that was an experience. <laughs> Anyway, so let me show you what the Blu-ray player, uh, the TV, I'm sorry. It's a Samsung 60-inch uh, LED TV. There's, here's the manual. Right there, I'm going to go show you. Let's see, I'm trying to reverse this so I can uh, show you the, uh, reverse the image, but I think I'm going to have to stop it. And then I'll pick up, show you my TV briefly, and then... Once they hook it up. 
and it's hooked up. I'll show you that video. Okay? So long for now. Okay, and that was my TV there. My stepfather was watching TV, so that's why I didn't talk there. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt him. And there's my th two pair of 3D glasses. Now, these are active 3D glasses, not the passive ones. And I really kind of wanted to get the passive ones, so that way you can use the mo ones from the movie theater. <laughs> these are specific for the TV, these two. And these are, of course, more expensive, and they have to sync, of course, up with the TV which I'll learn how to do that once the TV is hooked up. But, like I said, it's XD3, you know, two pair of 3D glasses, and it has a battery in it. And it tells you when it gets low, and then you just have to replace the battery, I guess, when it gets low. But I don't anticipate blowing out of the battery that fast. So, okay, so that's that. Okay, so next video will be, let me stop it for a minute. Let me, uh, let me, uh, stop it for a minute. Okay. So now that you've seen that part, the next part should be um, once they hook my TV up, the Geek Squad guys. I'm not going to film them I'm doing that because I don't want to interrupt them. But once they get it hooked up, then I'll show you my setup exactly. But I, I can actually show you this now, the sound, because the sound bar is hooked up and the Blu-ray player is underneath the uh, TV. So let me, uh, I can show you that. Hold on. See there, there's the sound bar, the LG sound bar right there, which is really good and very loud. <laughs> and there's the 3D Blu-ray part. It's underneath my, um, my, uh, the uh, LG Blu-ray player right there. There's a cable box underneath that, which I'm going to move to the side. And anyway, and below that is my VCR DVD player. Yes, I do still have a VCR. It's a VCR DVD combo right there. And I also have two more Blu-ray players, which, I'm gonna show, which I didn't hook up yet. I'm going to wait until... And also the, my computer's right there with my Rambo thing and some tapes and stuff. But my irons are there. But anyway, um, I think I have to get an adapter, so I'm going to use my TV as my monitor. But I, I think I have a DVI uh, that's attached to my computer that I have to get an HDMI adapter and then I can plug it right into the back of my TV, the new TV, which is an A4, four, it has four HDMI uh, settings, which I think um, the cable box will have one, the Blu-ray player will have the other, and the uh, uh, DVD Blu-ray player will have another one, I think. So so the other one I'll just, I'll use that one for the uh the most loving for my um, computer monitor. And but what I think I'm going to do is I might do is I'll unplug really the one from the cable box, not cable box, from the uh, VCR D DVD combo pack and um, go the, the component part, you know, with the red and white wires and you use my region free Blu ray player, which I have on the bed over there, which is this. That's right there. That's my region free player there. I'll use that for the for another HDMI cable and my Blu-ray player there that's down there the LG one is a smart uh, 3D so I can go on the internet through that way or through my TV okay and I have my router code right here which I'm gonna show my uh, show the guy when he comes from Geek Squad so he can I can access the internet through TV and so I should be good with, <laughs> I should be good with that Okay, so I think that's enough video for now, <laughs> by way of explanation, so the next video you should see, I sh my TV should be hooked up, because they told me they was going to come between 12 and 4, but the guy called earlier and said he's going to come now, a little, it's a little bit after 11, 6 after 11, so I expect him any minute, and hopefully it should take him, hopefully 30 minutes, 34, hook, hook me up fully, and there we go, so, and then, because really it prevented me from uh, going to see Need for Speed, which I wanted to see, uh, I plan on seeing that and the Veronica Mars movie today, but then I thought about later the day to get to buy my TV when I was coming home. 
So that kind of derailed that plan. So tomorrow I'll go see, in the morning, I'll go see Need for Speed. And I'm going to have to see Veronica Mars at a later date. Because I'm a big fan of that show, but there's just not, not enough time. <laughs> okay? Anyway, uh, next video will be the TV fully hooked up. Okay? Thank you. Goodbye for now. Okay, I'm back. Hope you enjoyed that footage. Um, I'm not sure to you, but I'm, let me turn to, to a channel that uh, doesn't have any uh, any uh, commercial or something on it. So uh, let's see. Let's see. I get something that. Sorry, I want to show you something, but I don't want to get in trouble with the, uh, let's see. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, let me see something. Let's see. Uh, Okay, anyway, here, let's, let me show you. Here we go, let's go. Okay. That's the TV right there. You can see it there, that's the TV. 60 inch, I like the size. Okay, now down here is the sound bar, the LG sound bar. And there's two pair of beauty glasses. These are the... Um, this is not the passive 3D, this is the active 3D, so with the glasses, when you want to hit the 3D, you have to click on it because it has a battery in it, and it turns green when it's ready to go, and the 3D is amazing. <laughs> I have to admit that. It's amazing. And down here is the Samsung. I don't know if you can see that, good or not. It's the Samsung uh, 3D Blu-ray player there. And then over here is the cable box, and that's the time, 1.47 p.m. Okay, and here is the... Uh, my, my region free Blu-ray player, I hooked that up um, with the, um, not with an HDMI, that with the three uh, cable for video audio and the two audio left and right. I have one thing for HDMI um, and then down here is my VCR DVD player, Samsung, of course. And here's the uh, subwoofer that came with the sound bar. Okay. And like I said, there's the TV. I think you can see that good. I think that's good. You can see, and it has a. Uh, there's the remote for the TV. Okay, Samsung. And there's a remote for the sound bar, LG. And oh yeah, there's a remote for the 3D Blu-ray player. So I have three remotes, and I gotta eventually figure out how to <laughs> do one. <laughs> you know, one. I'll figure it out eventually. Three, one one remote for everything so I don't have to be constantly reaching for <laughs> remote control and that's the remote control for the cable of course and there's the, for the other for my region free uh, blu-ray player there and that's for the uh, DVD blu-ray DVD uh, VHS player at the bottom there and this is my remote for my TV that I'm selling the girls coming to pick it up on Thursday Okay, I have it packed up in the other room. The guys who delivered this TV, who are uh, the Geek Squad guys, packed it up, which was nice of them. Okay, and uh, so <laughs> that's it. I, like I said, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll be watching. You know, cause the 3D is really good in this. Like I said, you can make even regular TV 3D, <laughs> even though I don't think I'll be using that feature because you know I don't need that on. But just you know, some of the movies, you know. Uh, the animated movies, I think the 3D will look, will look nice on that. But like I said, I don't, like I said, the 3D, but but I'm anxious to look at the the uh, smart features and stuff, which has some good smart features in it. And which is, uh, hold on. Let's see if you can see that. See, that's the smart feature, smart hub. 
see if I hit it again see that's the smart hub there there and then this is the TV source thing right there you can switch from cable vision to VCR to audio visual blu-ray whatever a lot of different things TV it's the cable right there which is what I'm watching now okay so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> okay and Isaac I'm really happy with my TV and stuff and like I said I'll be watching I think mostly animated 3d stuff and the occasional you know the superhero stuff that comes out in 3d you know watch that for once in a while but the 3d is fantastic like I said I have my brothers here yesterday and they were watching it and my stepfather and they're amazed at the 3d it looks like fantastic but I also realized too is the 3d you can only watch it so much and they have, do have the warnings in it about the 3d that you, sh you shouldn't watch too much because then you know after a while it, it kind of gets to you especially this act because I know that passive 3d is like the movie theater 3d and I think for that one you can watch that no problem but this 3d which is really powerful I think you can only watch it in, sp in spurts without going you know without going nuts like I said I think you probably can probably stand one movie or something like that but you can't watch it religiously because I think the 3d is just that powerful and then it, I think it affects your eyes and stuff after a while but anyway that's it let me put the camera back Oh yeah, and one other thing. Um, unfortunately, my TV doesn't. The new TV doesn't have a PC input like my last TV did, where I could just plug in. I could plug in the VGA, a um, plug from that to the um, back of the TV. So I'm going to order a VGA to HDMI cable. That way, I'll be able to plug in my t computer to the back of this, and I can use this as a monitor, like I used to do. Okay, so I'm going to order that today and put a rush on it so I can hopefully get it by Tuesday, Wednesday. So, because right now I'm using my little monitor <laughs> right now, believe it or not, my little, I think, 12 inch monitor right now to um, to actually watch myself when I'm recording here. Okay, rather than the TV like I would normally do. Okay, when I do my normal videos. That's why this angle is a little, a little wacky because I can't really tell because of its small size. Now, I do have a 19 inch uh, monitor, but that's an old heavy monitor, which I'm going to play with a little bit later just to see how it looks, the picture. Maybe I'll use that until the until my cable comes, my um, a VGA to HDMI cable comes. Because all I need, like I said, is the picture here. I play, like my old TV, all I did was play the sound through the speakers here and have the picture on the big TV. So that's what I'm going to do again. So that way we're good to go. So. There we go. I hope <laughs> I didn't bore anybody with this. And like I said, that's until I get the uh, that cable. This is going to be it in terms of. Uh, oh, let me show you that real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. It may look wacky to you. But. See, see there it is. <laughs> I'm using that this right now, and I have a bigger one, a 19 inch. That's a, even old fashioned. And this one is is more modern, actually. Believe it or not. <laughs> And the other one is more like a TV, like an old type TV with a heavy back, but it's 19 inches. And so it's a lot bigger than this one. So I may do that just to see, just to use that in the meantime, because it's just a bigger image. <laughs> okay, rather than this, although it takes up more space, I'm going to have to move things around. But I just want you to see what I'm staring at rather than the computer, you know, rather than the TV, which I would normally use. Okay. Okay, so anyway, that's it. Okay, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.